You know the fantasy, right? The world outside is falling apart, but a lucky few get to descend into this amazing, high-tech, underground paradise. The Apocalypse Bunker. It promises total, absolute safety. But what if that whole idea is a sham? In this explainer, we're going to tear down that fantasy and show you why that fortress of solitude, well, it might just be a tomb you build for yourself. So let's just get right to it. Is that multi-million dollar bunker you're dreaming about actually a death trap? I know it's a provocative thought, but stick with me here because by the end of this, you might see these so-called shelters in a completely different light. First off, let's just admit it. The appeal is powerful. The whole survival fantasy is incredibly alluring, isn't it? It promises you a world of control and order when everything out there is pure chaos. It's this clean sci-fi vision of just riding out the storm in total comfort and security with everything you could ever need. And that allure, it's really built on four big promises. First, you get total safety from whatever's happening outside. Second, complete self-sufficiency. You don't need anyone or anything from the broken world. That leads to promise number three, long-term security. And the ultimate prize, absolute peace of mind. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But here's the turn. What if that entire beautiful fantasy, all those amazing promises of safety and peace, are actually built on a foundation that's designed to fail? What if the very concept of the bunker is what guarantees it won't work? Because the first, and honestly the most critical point of failure, it isn't the steel doors or the air filters. It's us. It's the human factor. You can have the thickest concrete walls in the world, but you can't engineer away the messy, complicated reality of human psychology, especially when people are trapped in a box together. And that's where you see this huge gap between expectation and reality. The dream is this perfect team of survivors, everyone doing their part, working in perfect harmony. The reality? Well, countless psychological studies tell us it's way more likely to break down into paranoia, infighting, and total collapse. That pressure cooker environment turns friends into rivals and allies into enemies fast. This quote just says it all, perfectly. The zombies, the fallout, the disaster, whatever it is, that might not be what gets you in the end. The single biggest danger could be the person sleeping in the bunk right next to you. An internal collapse is almost always more deadly than the external threat. And okay, okay, let's just pretend for a minute that you find a group of perfectly calm, rational, super zen people you'd still immediately slam into another massive problem, the bunker itself. It's a logistical nightmare. It's just a complex machine waiting for something to break. Just look at how quickly things can fall apart. This is what we call a cascade failure. And it's terrifying. It starts with one thing. The diesel generator fails. That's it. Suddenly, your air filtration system, you know, the thing keeping you alive, shuts down. The CO2 levels start creeping up and your safe shelter quietly and slowly suffocates everyone inside. One broken part, and it is literally game over. And believe me, the generator is just the start. What happens when your water purifier gets contaminated? Or you realize you don't have the one specific screw you need for the hydronic system? Or when your long-term food supply goes bad? Or when someone gets appendicitis and you don't have a surgeon? In a totally closed system, every single one of these little problems is a potential catastrophe. So when you add all of this up, the psychological pressure, the guaranteed mechanical failures, it forces you to see the bunker in a totally new way. It's not a fortress. It's a trap. It's a prison that you willingly lock yourself inside of. And in doing so, you give up your most important survival tools. So let's redefine this thing. An apocalypse bunker is a static, high-value target. Static means it can't move. You're stuck. And high value means it's packed with all the food, water, and supplies that desperate people will kill for. You've essentially built a stationary treasure chest, locked yourself inside, and traded away mobility and adaptability, the two things you actually need to survive, for nothing more than the illusion of security. And that boils down to a very simple, very brutal truth. Whether it's a fire, a flood, a disease outbreak, or a group of raiders who found you. You can't run, you can't adapt. You've put all your chips on one spot, a spot that offers zero retreat and zero alternative options. You are well and truly stuck. Which brings us to the inevitable conclusion here. The bunker, this ultimate symbol of being prepared, this icon of security, it's actually a feudal fortress. It is a monument to a complete misunderstanding of what real survival is all about. To put it as bluntly as possible, 
A bunker doesn't save you from the inevitable. It just postpones it. It's basically a waiting room for the end. It's a tomb that just happens to come with its own life support system. For a little while, anyway. And that brings us to the real question, the one that actually matters. If building a fortress is a guaranteed failure, then what truly ensures survival? Is it being adaptable? Is it building a community? Is it resilience? Maybe, maybe true preparedness isn't about building thicker walls, but about learning how to break them down. Now that's a question we're thinking about. Thanks for joining me for this explainer.